Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. You know, I've had several people ask me the question about my hemp jewelry. One question they have is, is it itchy on your skin? Well, the answer to that is, it can be. The other question is, so if it is, how do you make it so it's not so irritating on your skin? Today, I want to address a little bit about hemp jewelry and what we can do about making it comfortable to wear. The first thing I would like to do is kind of discuss with you a little bit about what hemp is. Hemp is a natural fiber, usually comes in a ball like this, and it, in its natural form, it tends to be very stiff and scratchy. This is pretty thin here. Um, it's a number 10, so I'm able to get beads on it. Some hemp comes really thick. I like to have it thin so I can string my beads onto it. I made this very long necklace. It's a mala necklace. And wearing this, it's not really that scratchy on me because of the beads. The beads keep the actual hemp from being right next to my neck. So I don't have any issues with something like this. Other ways you might see hemp are in these two fashions. Um, these are actually a number 20, so they're twice the size of this one I was showing you earlier. Uh, you can get them in all different colors. And um, one thing, I was reading the back of this, uh, a little bit more information on hemp. It is a biodegradable and earth-friendly alternative to other synthetic cording. So, like I said, it's all natural. And I really like the way hemp looks. It is very organic looking and natural and back to nature, so to speak. This piece I have on was actually made from hemp like this, but I have worn it a lot. It's actually a lanyard necklace that I made for my cruises. I just hang my lanyard on this little hook here. It's got a shell on it. But over the years, it has just softened a lot naturally. I didn't do anything to it, but just wear it. And the oils from your skin will soften it. But a lot of us don't really want <laughs> to go through all that. And so there are ways you can soften it. These two pieces that I made with hemp, they are already pre-softened. The hemp, before I even started making them, it, it comes already soft. So they're ready to go once you get your pieces made. These two pieces, I use the, um, the scratchier, I guess you could call it, hemp. It has not been... Uh, pre-softened so to speak and I'm getting ready to show you how I'm going to soften them right now I'm boiling some water so hopefully that will be done here in a little bit and then I'm just gonna pour it the water in a bowl and then I'm going to put my piece in there and I'm gonna hang this part out because we do not want the beads or any of the metal to be in the water. We only want this part, the part that's gonna to be touching our neck. So let me go get that ready and I'll be back. So I have them in there and I'm not gonna let them soak for a huge amount of time because even though I want the fibers to break down a little bit so they're not scratchy, I don't want it to break down a whole lot. Um, and the water I put in here was not actually boiling. It was just, just before the boiling point. Um, it, I mean, I would not put my hand in there, so it's that hot. But uh, I'm going to let them soak here for a little bit, and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. All right, I've had them soaking for just a few minutes. I didn't really soak them that long. And I took one of them out, and it seems to be very soft already. So I just, when I took it out, I just put it on a towel and just kind of blotted it. Here, let me show you what I'm doing. Move this aside. So I put it on here and I just kind of blot it. No rubbing. And it, 
really feels soft right now. So I am going to let them air dry for a little bit and then I'll be back to show you if we need to soak a little bit more. So this is how I dry them. I just have this uh, plastic placemat and I'm just laying them flat and I will set them aside to dry. I wanted to show you this hemp bracelet that I made several years ago and I've worn it quite a bit. Uh, now sometimes your jewelry are going, they're going to get dirty, especially if you wear them a lot and particularly uh, anything that has fiber when you wear them as bracelets or around your neck, the oils of your skin and just elements that they come in contact with are going to get dirty and uh, you need to be careful on how you wash them. Uh, here are some of my waterproof bracelets that I make and um, they, they are wax cording, they're not hemp and so they are fully waterproof. Uh, I've gone to the beach and swim in them and all and they They'll, um, they'll fade a little bit, but they, they pretty much keep their, their color. I've been wearing these quite a while. But anyway, the way that I wash mine is I just get in the shower. I take, you know, take off all my other jewelry and my watch. But I get in the shower and I use uh, Dove soap. I, I have very sensitive skin. I break out in rashes, so I have to be careful on things I use. Um, so I use the Dove for sensitive skin that has no fragrance in it. And when I soap myself up, I just soap my bracelets up too. And then I rinse them off and I take them off and I just lay them out uh, to dry and they're nice and clean. So after soaking these for about an hour, hour and a half, I have been able to soften them up quite a bit. I did add a little bit of sea salt to the hot water, which uh, helped to break it down a little bit more. Uh, this particular piece right here, this morning when I got up, I decided, you know what, I'm going to wear it. And I've been wearing it for a couple of hours, and I have not felt any irritation on my neck. And as I said before, I have very sensitive skin. And as these are worn, the oils of your skin will soften it more and more. Now, if you have a thicker piece of hemp jewelry, you're going to need to soak it longer than an hour and a half. Um, but just keep an eye on it. And, you know, it does break down the fibers a little bit. But I have had pieces of hemp jewelry that I've had since <laughs> the 70s. <laughs> and they are still in pretty good shape. So even though this is biodegradable it is not going to break down and your piece will be ruined anyway I hope this answers your questions I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel ding the bell for notifications but mostly I hope you all have a wonderful day this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now bye bye